Okay, my more brothers in the spirit of continuing our ongoing discussion about automation and the retail apocalypse, I'm going to read to you this story. There are 170,000 fewer retail jobs in 2017 and 75,000 more Amazon robots. Amazon's headcount is growing by 40% year over year. It was the eighth largest private employer in the U.S. at the end of 2016, and it's poised to climb those ranks quickly. The online retailer also announced plans to build a second U.S. headquarters that will employ 50,000 employees. But Amazon growth comes at a cost. It has a well-earned reputation for overwhelming competitors. Even though Amazon represents a small portion of the overall retail industry, it dominates the industry's sales growth. We wondered, does Amazon create more jobs? It depends on whether you are a robot. We assembled employment data for the retail industry as a whole and for Amazon in particular. We estimated year-end results for 2017 based on current trends. Here's what our analysis says. One, assuming the current industry trends continue through the end of the year, the number of employees in Amazon-related retail, that is retail that Amazon competes with, such as bookstores as opposed to areas that it doesn't compete in, like gas stations, will decline about 1% year over year. While that's a small percentage, the number of job losses would be 170,000. That would be the first annual decline since 2009. Amazon, two, Amazon employment increases won't be enough to cover the losses in the rest of the industry. We have assumed Amazon will maintain its current year over year headcount growth rate and will add 140,000 employees worldwide in 2017. A 40% a 43% increase, excluding whole food employees. Even with that aggressive growth assumption and including Amazon employees worldwide, the combined employment at Amazon and Amazon related retail would still decline by 24,000. Amazon has already added 55,000 robots this year and its growth rate is accelerating. The company stated it had 45,000 robots at the end of 2016 added 35,000 robots by the end of the first half of 2017, and then add another 20,000 in the third quarter. We've assumed another 20,000 in the fourth quarter for a total of 75,000 new robots in 2017. While it may be difficult to prove causality, it's not difficult to see the correlation between the decline of 24,000 human being employees and an increase of 75,000 robot employees. Amazon's growth and efficiency driven by AI and automation are key to why its stock has performed so well. The company is increasing its investment in robotics and in our assumptions, machines could represent 20% of the total employee base by the end of the year. That increase in automation drives efficiency and growth and makes Amazon investors happy especially relative to the re retail industry as a whole. While the S&P retail index is flat this year, Amazon stock is up 57%. The National Retail Federation, NRF, has forecast that retail industry sales growth will grow by around 40%, by 4%, excuse me, in 2017. U.S. Census Bureau data also confirms that growth rate through the first nine months of the year. Online shopping is growing even faster at 10% so far this year. Amazon's U.S. business represents 35% of that growth. Wall Street analysts estimate that the company will represent 51% of all online sales growth by the end of the year. That means that Amazon will represent 20% of the entire U.S. retail industry's growth in 2017. Even though it only represents 3% of the overall U.S. retail sales. Amazon's growing army of robots may seem helpful and benign, but they are also highly effective at terminating human retail employees. Robotics company gets $25 million to bring Amazon-like automation to small retailers. Locus Robotics, which makes autonomous mobile robots for use in e-commerce fulfillment warehouses, just announced $25 million in Series B round.
in a Series B round. Locust is one of a growing number of warehouse robotics providers helping retailers and third-party logistics operators automate existing operations without major retrofits. The trend is being driven by an industry-wide labor shortage and by the exploding e-commerce market, which is expected to grow by 20% CAGR to become a $4 trillion global market by 2020. Jesus. Okay. $4 trillion by 2020. E-commerce fulfillment warehouses are under tremendous pressure to meet increased demands for fast, accurate order fulfillment. Significant labor challenges says Rick Falk, CEO of Locust Robotics. Locust Robotics collaborative robots allow warehouse operators to significantly increase worker productivity while economically closing the growing labor gap. Of course, the other factor driving the rapid shift toward automation in e-commerce is Amazon. In an economy largely dominated by Amazon, continues Falk, Locust arms independent operators with the means to compete effectively. In 2012, Amazon acquired Kiva, which makes automation solutions for logistics industry. Not long after, you could order mouthwash in the morning and get it the same afternoon. The $775 million acquisition, Amazon's second, second biggest at the time, gave the company a massive competitive advantage over rivals like Walmart and put a years ahead of smaller retailers. Now, a new generation of companies like Fetch Robots, Automotors, and Locus are bridging the gap with autonomous carts and pickers that can navigate semi-structured environments like warehouses. We look for huge markets, burning needs, and compelling and innovative technologies that address those needs, says Roy O'Driscoll, general partner and scale VP, which invested in Locus. He rightly sees a big opportunity for the kinds of turnkey robots Locus provides, which can be deployed overnight without overhauling operations. Hmm. We try to invest just when the innovative technology is ready to jump from an interesting idea that might happen to a core business imperative that is happening right now. For collaborative robots, the time is right now. Robots can safely work with humans each doing what they do best to double human productivity and lighten the physical workload in industries like logistics. We anticipate the explosion of this trend in the next few years. Locust will be at the heart of that trend. I can't remember what newspaper that's from, but oh, it's from ZDNet. Link, links will be in the description as always um what can i say <laughs> everybody says it's not going to happen till 2030 it's not happening right now it's going to be a while it's going to take a while for these robots to get into in, into service amazon has 110,000 of them and to compete walmart is going to have tons of them and every other retailer that has to go online is going to have to do this to compete. So what does that mean for human workers? These cobots that work with human beings are just a interim step. And I don't think it's going to be a long interim step because once somebody out competes you or does something that will actually make it cheaper and faster, guess what you're going to do? You're going to do the same thing. Get ready, folks. It's not coming. It's here. <laughs> the autonomous vehicles are already on the road. The autonomous trucks are already on the road. The robots are already in warehouses. They're already in retailers. Hell, like I said, that there's a one bot. I got to show that one when I find it. I got to find it again. There's a bot that mops the floors in Walmart. And then there's another bot that goes along each aisle and scans the products to make sure what kind of stocking you have. You don't have a, you don't have a stocking clerk like you used to. It's already here. And we're not going to even talk about the AIs. We're going to deal with that tomorrow about the AIs and 
how they're going to collapse things like uh, uh, lawyers, doctors, hell, maybe even Indian chiefs, accountants, that kind of stuff. All those people are going to get ready to take hits. They haven't taken it yet. They're getting ready to take hits. So all those women that have been bragging about pink collar work, the robots aren't coming to get you, but the AIs are. Get ready, folks. It is what it is. Um, uh, probably the UBI can't get here fast enough, but that's just me. But with that, I'm going to drop off of here. It's BGS out, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.